Good morning. Welcome in on a Tuesday, February 13th. It is the Martin Morning Report. And there's a lot to talk about. Five big things to mention from last night. Number one, a big night in KMA land boys tournament trail action with 18 area teams advancing on. Let's count them. Clarinda. They absolutely shocked AHSTW last night. This was a game that I was at as they scored 14 of the final 15. 11 of those from the hot shooting Creighton Tuzio. Red Oak moves on. They get 20 from Hunter Gillen in a victory over Shenandoah. Those were the 2A teams. In 1A, East Mills, four players in double figures. 20 from Jackson Embry in a victory over Nottoway Valley. Stanton last night got 20 from Evan Gettler, a double-double from Nolan Grevin as they beat Lennox. Edward Miller of Audubon helping his Wheelers advance, scoring 29 points and hitting the game winner at the buzzer against Panorama. IKM Manning, a winner as well. They beat West Monona. Riverside's Grady Jepson, a huge night, 36 points. He broke the all-time record for free throw makes as the Bulldogs beat St. Albert. Tri-Center won by 30 last night. and got 19 from Isaac Wilhuter as they beat Fremont Mills. Bedford had four in double figures too, and they did it in a win over Sydney. Central Decatur, also in 2A, survive in advance. They win 41-37 over Interstate 35. Southwest Valley, an upset win over a Jackson Rugglesless Mount Air. Roman Keefe led the team in scoring. Wife was about throwing me an apple there. Southeast Warren pulled away from a close game to beat Murray. Cam got 21 from Ryan Bauer as they get a victory over Glidden Ralston. Coon Rapids Bayard rolls in a victory over Griswold, they had a big night from Cal Hayden. Xyra Elkhorn, Kimbleton, a dominant performance. They take down Heartland Christian, 19 points from Cash Emgarten. Woodbine had four players in double figures as they cruised to a win over Essex. Ankeny Christian got 24 from Tyler Mahoney in a win over BCLUW. And Moravia got a nice victory over Wayne last night, winning by 22 points. Those are the 18 teams in boys 1A, 2A. Moving on. Number two, there were two teams in Nebraska, KMA Land, Nebraska, sub-district girls action last night that moved on. Falls City and Ashland Greenwood are those teams. Olivia Pike leading the way for Ashland Greenwood. Marley Glock also scoring in double figures as the Blue Jays advance on. More sub-district games scheduled for tonight. Number three, state bowling qualifying on the girls' side yesterday. Five teams advancing on to state. Shenandoah won their district that they hosted in Atlantic the whole thing. And they go on with 2,461 total pins. Clarinda went all the way to Osceola to grab some Arby's and to bowl their way back to state. 2,634 pins from the Cardinals, which are state runners up back to back years. St. Albert won their home district of the Thunder Bowl, 2,540 pins. And then in class 2A, Lewis Central, a second place finish in Lamar's, 2,524 pins. They, the two time defending state champion, also moving on to Waterloo, Lamars did win their home district, as you might expect, 2,971 pins. And there were 17 individual qualifiers, including these district champions from Clarinda. Dakota Weiss had 593 pins in a three-game series. Hannah Stearns of Shenandoah, 510 at Atlantic. Lexi Narmi of St. Albert at home, 636. And then Bailey Gill from Lamars also at home, 662. Plus, Riley Polium and Lexi Clark of Clarinda, Taylor Davis and Jalen Gray of Shenandoah, Aubrey Reed of Mount Air, Olivia Gardner and Georgie Bonet from St. Albert, Ivy Stevens of Harlan, Faith Renshaw of Lewis Central, Brittany and Brianna Musgrave of Denison Sleswig and Natalie Vanderloo and Jenna Fisher of Lamars. Also, moving on to state. Number four, other hoops happenings last night. Atlantic boys get an upset in a low-scoring game against Harlan. Tyler New at 21 for Worth County as they knock off East Atchison. Auburn remained undefeated with a nice win over Wilbur Claytonia. Riggs Wilson scored 25 for the Weeping Water boys as they get a win over Cornerstone Christian. On the girls' side, Lamars gets a very, very nice win over Sioux City West behind 34 from Jalen Marino. They're in the Missouri River Conference. Also, Lewis Central, very nice win over Nebraska Club Gretna. 44-31. to 31. East Atchison girls beat Worth County. Lizzie Schleter had 18 points. Platte Valley got a win and claims the 275 Conference Championship of the route of North Nottoway. Michaela Yabel had 22 in Maryville's win over Cameron. And then Amelia Wallace, big 25.9 for Stanbury to win over Pattonsburg. Number five, the 3A and 4A boys basketball pairings are out from the Iowa High School Athletic Association. A couple quick notes. Lewis Central Glenwood winner. You're going to Orange City. And somebody from KMA is going to Orange City too. And it's not going to be me. Creston at Harlan, round three in the opening round. And then also of note, TJ got a two seed. I was wondering what they might do. They're opposite of West Des Moines Valley. All right, those are your five things. Today, 28 teams in 18 Iowa girls regional games. We'll have coverage from four of those. Nine games 
13 teams in KMA Land Nebraska girls sub-district play and also boys state qualifying bowling districts today at Ballard. Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn, Atlantic, St. Albert, Lamars, Urbandale, and Des Moines, Lincoln. We're watching all of that. We're watching more than that. We're watching everything. That's what we do here on the Martin Morning Report. Have a great Tuesday.